Hello everyone, welcome to The Bearded Hobbit or welcome back if you're a subscriber, hint hint. Um, today is adventures in apartment life. Uh, we're currently waiting to move into a new home, so we're in a, an apartment now and I don't have a grill. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is make a little grill. What I had seen done before, and I'd seen setups like this that you can purchase at a grocery store where it's an aluminum pan with just charcoal in the bottom and a little grating on top to cook. So I'm gonna try that out, but I built mine uh, for a little bit cheaper. Um, I just took two large uh, pans, they don't have to be this big of course, um, and just simply stacked them together. Now, the cooking surface is a little tricky. Now, I did find and have uh, these little bitty grates, but they're very thin. Uh, they're very supportive, but very thin to cook on. So what I've done is I purchased also just a little cooking uh, grate here uh, that can just sit on top of this. Uh, but I also have in my possession one of these for hamburgers or vegetables or whatever that I can also sit on here and it makes it really easy to kind of flip over. Uh, so these are always handy to have. But if you just wanted to go this route uh, here, then this would be, I don't know, maybe four bucks. I think that's what I spent on it. You could probably find it cheaper to go to the dollar store and find all of this probably for three bucks. Uh, so today, for my test run, I wanna make some brats, uh, but for tomorrow, I'm gonna do a whole chicken on here. So we'll see how all of this works. Um, and if you're thinking, oh my God, it's another cooking episode, it's called the Bearded Hobbit. I mean, hobbits eat a lot, right? So this is what, second, third dinner or something by now? Uh, so probably expect more cooking in the future. Uh, but I'll get it set up and uh, take some video and give you my review on how well it works. Mmm, smells good. All right, let's check this thing out. Oh, yes. Now you might have noticed I added a binder clip because binder clips I use for everything. And I did put some holes in there. I forgot, you gotta have airflow, right? So I got some in the bottom and some in the top. All right, let's move that aside. Oh yeah, these look great. Ah, perfect. So <clears throat> one thing I did midway through cooking, flipped it. Uh, checked on it and I moved my coals all to one end so they had a hot side and a cool side um, So I browned them really well and then kind of shifted everything around So the nice thing about this setup is you just kind of pick up one end. It's hot So be careful pick up one end kind of push all your coals to one side and then there was enough room here for this uh, cool side So tomorrow will be the next test. We're gonna do a split full chicken I will more than likely cook it on my other um, set up my other little cooking rig so we'll see how that goes this this worked out perfect um, I'm super happy about it I'm hungry I'm gonna go eat all right so tomorrow we'll be right back here see you then all right we're back for day two as we said today we're gonna do a split chicken this beautiful piece of meat from HEB so let's uh, put this bad boy on and see how it does. Ooh, already smoky. Oh yeah, that sounds good. All right. All right, now we wait. All right guys, it's, it's reveal time. Before we do that though, what I wanna talk about real quick is airflow and ventilation in this. One thing I noticed is when I put the lid on earlier, I really wasn't getting enough airflow. Uh, so what I started doing was I would shift the lid from one side to the other. And what you get 
uh, depending on where your coals are hot and how it's burning, uh, you may get, you know, if you move it to this side, a better, better ventilation versus the other side. Uh, but what you tend to get is airflow coming in one side, moving through, burning, and then you can kind of follow where the smoke is going. In this case, we have airflow being sucked underneath on this side, moving through, and then exiting this way. So that's where your heat is going. So you want to try to cook based on that uh, and move your chicken or whatever it is that you're cooking over that, that hot spot. Um, so yeah, so the, the holes, yeah, they help, but you know, in this case, moving the lid was a little bit easier to do. All right, let's take a peek. Oh, I can't even show you to you, it's so good. There we go. That's a beautiful chicken right there. I might have thrown on a few mushrooms for me and the missus while you weren't looking. You know, they're del oh man, man, those are good. I'm super excited about how well this turned out. Um, you know, cooking hot dogs and a little stuff like that, no big deal, that's easy. Of course that was gonna work. But doing a chicken, something bigger like this, that can be a little bit, a little bit tricky really. But I'm very pleased with it. Okay, I'm ready to eat. I mean, I'm, I'm a hobbit. I'm ready to eat, right? All the time. All right, guys. Well, this is it. Um, if I figure out another way to cook something, I'll, I'll let you know. If you would, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll give you more culinary tips or whatever adventure I'm on next. Hopefully in a house. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.